Station, this is Rob Navius with NASA Public Affairs at Mission Control Houston. How do you hear me? We get you uh, loud and clear, Rob. Well, it's great to see you guys. Uh, it's just been a few days uh, since launch, uh, but you're looking hale and hearty. Let me start off uh, with a question to Scott. You and Mikael are settling into your home on orbit for the next year. How have the first few days gone, and has the reality of the year-long mission at sheer duration and the workload ahead taken hold yet? Well, uh, you know, speaking for myself, um, the uh, ride to orbit was uh, impressive, as, as it always is. Um, you know, the docking on the first uh, launch day is, is a really, uh, uh, you know, a great thing. I think uh, there's a lot of advantages to doing that. Um, but once I got on, the, on board the space station, it really felt like, uh, you know, I was visiting an old home, felt very comfortable. Um, uh, but there is a lot of work to be done here, and, uh, you know, the pace of work at times can be hectic. Uh, just the things we need to do to get, uh, you know, to get moved in is uh, it's really a busy time. So even though we got here, I think, on, uh, it's kind of, it's all kinds of, even a little bit fuzzy, but on Saturday morning, basically we're supposed to have the weekend off, but we really spent those two days moving in. So, uh, you know, we've basically been working since we got here. Mikael, there is particular interest in how you and Scott will handle the psychological grind of spending a year in space. Are there any specific methods the two of you plan to use to maintain an even temperament, or will the busy workload of four space station expeditions be enough to keep your mind off the calendar and the clock? Well, I, I think it's going to be hard not to notice uh, months and hours. The time fly, flies a little slower here. But as far as our psychological compatibility, we have been working really hard on the ground to work that out. And we have lots and lots of support. And our psychological success is a given. I'm very sure about our success and I'm sure that we will not have even a modicum of any psychological issues and the guys who will be coming up to see us are also excellent people there will be no problems thank you Scott along those same lines in less than two weeks a SpaceX Dragon cargo craft will be coming your way and the first of a long list of key operational events for you and your crewmates throughout this long mission is this the variety and pace of work that will keep you focused, or will it be necessary to tune out from time to time like any of us have to do over the course of a year to maintain a healthy balance for ourselves? Well, right now I'm just kind of taking it day, day by day, and I think, um, you know, I, I'm looking, you know, a little bit towards the next major event, but uh you know i'm not thinking about this in in this in the manner that you know i'm like you know planning for all the different major activities that are kind of come along i'm just kind of trying to take it day by day pace myself and absolutely um you know you know working at a maybe a little bit slower pace than i did last time will be important keeping my you know energy level up so i have you know the appropriate reserves to deal with all these different uh you know major activities moving the pmm all the visiting vehicles some spacewalks uh, you know keeping a high enough energy level to do that and then you know respond if uh you know something happens that we have to uh you know work through the night or you know respond to some kind of an emergency situation so you know, I think a good life-work balance is important, and that's, uh, you know, I think even more important in some cases on the space station. And finally, for both of you, I'm struck by the variety of key anniversaries coming up that you'll be celebrating in orbit. Uh, in the next few weeks, the 54th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's historic flight, the 40th anniversary of Apollo Soyuz in July, and in November, the 15th anniversary of a permanent human occupancy on the station. Can each of you discuss how fitting it is that an American and a Russian are together in space for a year, conducting vital research for future exploration, perhaps something that would have been unheard of a few decades ago? 
Well, I think when you're somewhere for nearly a year, you'll experience nearly all the anniversaries. Um, you know, some of those are significant. Uh, you know, uh, Apollo uh, Soyuz and the and the anniversary of the you know permanent presence on the space station. And uh, so I guess, I guess it is somewhat interesting that, you know, we're spending such a, a long time up here, and it's uh, also at the same time of these significant anniversaries. I think what's even more important is, you know, we, we have this international partnership, this International Space Station, and, uh, you know, we're all doing great work up here. We're one big team, um, you know, our expedition uh, 43 crew members, um, you know, it's more than just Misha and I, and, uh, you know, the international partnership, in my mind, is one of the thing, one of the, the, the high points of this International Space Station. Uh, I think that we are really lucky, myself and Scott, in spite of the fact that this is hard work, and it's going to be tough, but we are really lucky because we will be able to celebrate so many different anniversaries while being up in space, and we will be celebrating those holidays. It's very symbolic that prior to Soyuz Apollo and during this flight, we had ta uh, cooperation between Americans and the Russians, and we continue this with doing same work together on board of the International Space Station. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, Scott and Mikhail. Uh, we appreciate your time today. Uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Uh, be well and fly safe. Well, thank you, Rob. Uh, appreciate your time and appreciate talking to uh, all the folks out there that, uh, you know, following the great work we do on board the space station. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you, NASA Public Affairs and Expedition 43 Flight Engineers Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.